What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Pay to Drive and, of course, Pay to Drive Vlogs coming at you with another new video. I hope you're all doing great out there. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on for free Hit that red subscribe button down below, turn on all notifications. You're always notified when I post something new. And of course, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job and let's jump on into it. All right. So this one right here uh, was actually from the comment section of my video the other day in regards to um, DoorDash making things mandatory uh, you know, for pizza and catering delivery orders that the driver or dasher must take a picture of the delivery bag to ensure that they have the proper equipment, uh, aka your hot bag, to do these deliveries. So Tad Tandleton said, uh, exactly, it's not our fault if the food is cold. We do not make the food. DoorDash does not give us an oven in our trunks. People also give poor ratings to drivers for the restaurant's fault, even if you report the restaurant. We need drink carriers too. I always press that can't get help from restaurants because it's never ready and then you're and then they get your order ready. I'm going to buy a front seat delivery thing, thing to hold drinks in. I don't know how many times I just get there, the door's closed because some fast food is open, so uh, some aren't, so you've got to wait in the drive through and then they don't put lids on right, or they put the flimsy brown drink holders that spill all the all the soda, so people give you a three-star rating because they get warm soda, because uh, Subway doesn't have cold uh, sodas in the fridge, you know, or you know, or they ask you to leave at the door, don't knock, hand it to me as details, so they can trick new dashers into giving them free food, which is the fraud is what he's talking about, how that keeps happening over and over again. Uh, they do this and say that they didn't hand it to me and never got the food because you don't have a picture. Always take your pictures, guys. Then you lose that tip and have to deal with customer service. I use the message box when this happens, leave it on the door and text them a picture message that it's there or pin movers. Pin movers piss me off. It doesn't update on time and you go to the wrong place and they say, oh, I didn't get your, your oh, I didn't get your order. You left it at the wrong place. I put the pin. Uh, let's see. This is a number, this is number one BS. They need to have an address and description. Let me tell you something, Tad. You said quite a mouthful here, okay? The fact of the matter is this. I will say Grubhub has always treated their drivers well when it comes to giving them equipment. When I first started, I did get that flimsy little Grubhub bag like the one uh, that DoorDash gives. I did have that, but the zipper broke. So then I ended up investing in my delivery bag here that I got from Restaurant Depot. I think it was like 50 or 60 bucks. It's really durable. It works great. Keeps the food cold, keeps the food hot. Good to go. Um, but they also gave a pizza bag as well that I have in my trunk. So anytime I ever have a pizza delivery order, I'm ready to go. And it fits usually like, I think like two or three large pies in there pretty, pretty well. Used it quite a few times. And what's cool is that that Grubhub big pizza bag is, uh, you can convert it into just a longer delivery bag, which is cool. It serves two purposes. You could use it as a regular deeper delivery bag for regular food, or you can also use it as a pizza catering bag, which is cool. But the problem is DoorDash doesn't give you those things or they expect you to buy them, you know, on your own, which is an investment in yourself and it can be a tax write off or they, you know, want you to order from their store and pay for it. So it's kind of like, well, DoorDash, if you want people to do these pizza and catering orders, you got to give them the right equipment or they have to go get it themselves. So here's my question to all of you right now in the chat or the comments. Have you went out and actually purchased your own delivery bag or delivery equipment, or do you use whatever these companies give you? Because the problem is the quality of the stuff they give you isn't always great, and the zippers do tend to break or they, they just rip in general because they're just not made very well. So me, as a personal um, suggestion, I would highly recommend a lot of you guys go out and get your own kinds of bags because at least that way you know it's of good quality and it's something you can rely on. Just my two cents on the whole thing. And uh, of course, guys, if you ever want to send me anything for a video, 
Uh, always send me an email at paid to drive stories at gmail.com. It's the best place to reach me or for a quicker response. You guys can message me over at Patreon, patreon.com slash paid to drive. There's a link in the description or in the pin top comment down below. If you guys would like to send me a message on there and sign up and anyone who does sign up as my way of saying thank you, I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to do that right now. When you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Ari Rosenbaum, our $100 ultimate driver. Thank you, Ari. The very generous Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Jimmy Thomas, uh, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to all of you. Uh, and of course, everybody, um, I hope all of you guys are signed up on the Get Upside Gas app. That's right, everybody. It's a free app for your smartphone. And uh, you use the link down below in the bottom of all my descriptions. If you want, just pause the video, hit that link down below, download it to your smartphone. Any kind of phone will work. Go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it today. And of course, if you want one of your own, comment 111. If you smash that like t-shirts, you can get your own at paytodrivestore.com where we have everything on sale every single day. Lots of great designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it. Get your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies at paytodrivestore.com. That's right, everybody. Links down below or in the pin top comment. So that's it. If you made it to the end, leave a comment right now saying end 339, E-N-D 339. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So until next time, everybody, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on paid to drive and pay to drive vlogs and as always drive safe be well and we'll see you on the next one that's right everybody take care peace see you